Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Walter. Wesley, Travis, Gary, Cashmere. What's good? Lauren's in the building. Steve, LC's Red, Slug, Moms, Kelly, Vander, Fabian. What's good? What's good? Travis. Short show. Short, short, short show. Very short show. Facebook, Twitter. I'm, I gotta have a private meeting. I gotta have a YouTube only private meeting. It's going to be a quick, short, private, private meeting. Saturday night, cheers, cheers, cheers. It just got extended by a couple minutes. Cody, <laughs> Cody, cheers, cheers, cheers. Thanks for extending the show by a little bit. <laughs> If you're watching this on Twitter or if you're watching this on Facebook, go to the YouTube channel, www.youtube.com backslash made for the bill. M A D E F O R T H E V I L L E. Looks like, ooh, I have not rocked my hat to Vegas yet. I have not rocked my hat in Vegas yet. Good call, Charles. Or, or no, no, RL Holt. <laughs> Good call. Good call. That's exactly where I was going. <laughs> oh, oh, you got it. You got a slight extent. Okay. Before I go, cheers. Let me, let me, uh, Facebook, go, go to the YouTube channel. Um, Facebook, go to the YouTube channel. Twitter, go to the YouTube channel. Twitch, go to the YouTube channel. You need to remove that, remove. Okay, Facebook, I'm shutting down right now. Uh, Twitter, shut down right there. Save changes. Oh, I didn't know how to do that. Okay, auto star. Okay, auto star. Oh, oh, there's a new function I didn't know about. Ooh, oh, oh. Lauren might be in trouble. Would love to see Jimmy Butler win one, but I think it's Nuggets here. Yeah, Nuggets got the best. Like there could be an upset, but Nuggets got the best team. Gary Crump, cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. Chad in the building. So, Mr. Crump. Actually, let me turn down the music a little bit on this one. This is why we went private meeting for this. For this subject right here. Okay, y'all, this really is going to be a short show. Okay. Let me let me get okay. Coach, Coach McDonald, not a good look, Coach, unless you feel like our medical facilities weren't good enough to rehab the players back fast enough, which is a reach, Coach. It's way, this is not the time for that. <sighs> Coach. It's okay, Adrian, we'll figure it out.
coach. Now's not the time, coach. Listen to what I'm saying. We all know your value. We all know you're a great coach. There's no way quicker to lose goodwill than to have a disappointing end like this and then start ugh, start the facilities talk. Not yet, coach. Coach, we love you. This is a bad look. This is a bad look. Unless you're looking to get out and you're just looking for a reason. It looks like you're trying to put up a reason to say it's somebody else's fault, not mine. We know you're a great coach. But you're going to force people to start bringing up the mishaps. You're going to force people to start naming all the talent. And then saying, okay, what is our results? Look at, you know, they're going to start picking apart your resume. When you, you do kind of like the, I mean, we've seen it happen to a million coaches. Great coaches. But when they start doing the facilities talk right after a loss. It's not going to go over well. It's, it's going to turn into you're okay put it this way you're losing your negotiation backing by doing that uh, like had you not done that the fans would be pushing Josh Hurd to make you happy but when you do that right after a loss I mean, who knows? They're going to be emailing Josh like, don't give him an extra penny. Let him go. Don't don't give him anything. Like, that's just going to be the that's going to be the spirit of the fan base. They're not going to want things built on now. They, they're going to want it built on for the, for the new coach. Wait till the new coach comes in and we'll give him anything he wants. You can't do that right after the Florida State weekend. <sighs> oh. Oh. I would... I'd have rather not... I'd have rather not had to have that conversation, y'all. That's an ugly conversation. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ninth highest paid coach in college baseball. AC baseball is better than anyone expected. Oof. It was a bad look, Jordan. Jordan, I feel like I owe you one from yesterday. <laughs> Let's get a pass in here, Jordan. Cheers. It was a bad look. It was very poor timing. The, the look, the timing. I mean, just last summer, we were talking about how, you know, how we're bringing, you know, we're, you know, trying to add some stuff, trying to do some stuff. Uh, attendance probably wasn't where we needed it to be. Ugh. I mean, Charles, that, that, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It's like, but, but 
I know what you're saying. Everybody respects him as an excellent coach, but right now it's just, just poor timing. Poor timing for that. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Like, I, I know what you're saying. Just, but now, now, fresh off this weekend. Dwayne, what's good? Yeah, that's, that's better speed up. Mmm. Mmm. Or, or, or is it lack of indoor facility? Are you saying that's the reason we weren't prepared? Corey, what's good? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not overreacting about it or anything. I'm just saying, right, right off the, you know, right off the weekend, right off the loss to go, you know, to, to go into the facilities talk. It's just not the time for facilities talk. Not the time for facilities talk, in my opinion. No, GW, I feel you. I feel what you're saying. Um, context is always a big thing for me too, but the facilities conversation, I just don't think it, it should even be brought into this, into this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would have, I'd have pulled a plug. <laughs> I, I would have pulled a plug if I was there. Ah, Adrian. Okay, Adrian. You, um, you can join. Hold on. Um, I gotta learn how to use the uh, transport. What do you mean by that? You ready to trans? You, you ready to hit the portal? Uh, uh, uh on your fandom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, he he's such an awesome coach, though, that you're gonna be a hostage to him uh, uh, going to other programs at any time. So, <laughs> and, and listen, like I feel him. Like I feel him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying, if I'm Dan McDonald, I stay away from the the complaining conversation right now. We had FSU at home to make the ACC tourney. And Cheeks all year got busted two out of three. <sighs> just not just, like, like I said, the facilities thing. Just, and, and like I said, it, it's nitpicking with an awesome coach. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, you know, uh, do anything with Dan McDonald. But I'm just saying, if, if I'm recommend, if I'm advising the coach, I just say, hey, you know, if I'm in the back, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> coach, don't don't answer that, coach. Even if that's how you feel, I just I would just stay away from that one altogether. Hmm. Hmm. It, it it does feel kind of inevitable though. The way SEC puts they they put that money into that baseball, and and listen, if you Dan McDonald, sometimes you gotta watch that. 
you gotta watch it look vanderbilt tennessee florida alabama tennessee and just you just gotta want a piece of that <laughs> it wasn't a respectful act to our school right right that's yeah it just it, it feels a little like i said it again i'm not like i'm not like Torching him at the stake. I'm just saying, coach, no, coach, not now. Not not right now. Coach, not right now. I would say that to a player who, you know, after a lost game talks about this. I would say that to a coach. I would say that to I would say that to every single coach we've had. I'd say, coach, not right now. End of the season. Right, fresh off the loss, we need to get better immediately. We need to get we look. We need to get better on the field. We need to get better off the field. We need to get better immediately. We're you know we're on it. Next meeting, look. Next meeting, next time when we you know when we talk about the summer or when we talk about the year in its totality, then you say, you say, okay, like. Uh, you know, a week from now, you say, okay, um, this was the second, oh, okay, let's just say like the last two months of the season, we had a lot of bad weather. Um, I feel like the indoor facility that we've been trying, that we've been efforting would have really, you know, it would have either put us on par with, with a lot of uh, sunny weather area schools. I mean, go, go through the list, say, Hey, we lost to this team. They can practice damn near year round. We lost to this team. We lost to this team. We lost to this team. Then you can show like how indoor facility would have made a difference. And now the fans are like, man, we need to get this dude this indoor facility right now. You know what I'm saying? If you if he just broke it down, you know what I'm saying? But it just but just going, hey, do you want to be here? I don't know, man. If if if, if they ain't showing a commitment to win. It's like, oh, commitment to win. And then it's like, yeah, commitment to win. We don't have this, we don't have that, you know, facilities. It's like, oh, coach, coach. Let's be more tactful about it. They ain't fairground stadium the baseball is playing in. He was an assistant, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, does that make sense what I'm saying? Just 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 wait. Like right now, it's about the players. It's about the games. You know, it's about that. You know, collect your thoughts. Get to the get to the offseason. Say, hey, we we were at a competitive disadvantage without our indoor facilities. Everybody would back you up on that. But you know, like clockwork, the are you happy here? Do you want to take the next SEC job? You know, like, you know that that conversation happens at the end of every season. And, and listen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that that having a, a, a upgraded indoor facilities is not, you know, crucial. But, but uh, you know, people, if, if you say that, people are going to start picking apart that, that theory. Yeah, that's a, but that's kind of an in-house conversation. That's a, that's a midnight family in-house conversation. I ain't take, look, I'm not taking that conversation <laughs> and just, Oh, Jimmy Donald, I can't believe you did that. Oh, God. Nope. This is a midnight family in-house conversation. Listen, Chuck, I don't th I don't think we're giving shade, but I think we're saying, hey, coach, you know, lay off on that one. <laughs> look, 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 what your boys in life say. You, you like baseball? Hey, lay off on that one. <laughs> you got to lay off on that one. Listen, I know the look. 
I know that was a juicy, that was a juicy off-speed pitch that you, you felt like was the right time to go for it. Not the right time to go for that one. Mm. Yeah, Chuck, I, I don't think it's shade. I think it's just kind of like, I think it's just a lot of people that care and just like, hey, coach, like, you know, you don't want to feel like, like, I mean, we're, you know, we're grateful that we've kept him, but we want him to feel like he, you know, he's also grateful for the support he, he, he has locally. So, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's just, we just want to manage this one and not let it spiral out of control into, you know, mudslinging. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I think this is, um, I think this is slight correction. <laughs> Give the hater nation some time, they'll make it public. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah, it's like, man, we just, we just, we can give you some advice on this one. This one, is that, that wasn't the time. And you could just say, hey, yeah, that probably wasn't the, wasn't the right time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So I don't, I don't even want it to go into conversation about, um, about job security and job placement and you know stuff like that nil for the baseball team we can talk about that yeah listen i'm surprised he can go straight for that just like yeah we're gonna, we're gonna have to uh work with the 502 circle get some dudes in here <laughs> look because we don't get mad at coaches and be like yeah I, I need to recruit better i'm surprised dan mcdonald didn't look right into the camera and say Marcus Maben I need Trent Maben here immediately <laughs> yeah yeah coach just talk about talk about we need some we need some players and get a little tougher and you know all that good stuff when then when they ask you about your job your uh job uh what, what do you call it um your happiness with the job um job fulfillment, whatever the, the, the phrase is I'm thinking of. Your your satisfaction with the job. Like, no, it's a great job and I want to do good and, you know, we're going to get some new players in here and, or, or, you know, whatever you got to say. But the, the facilities, man. Especially here. Like, our, our place is beautiful. <laughs> and everybody tells us how beautiful our stadium is. Cameron Maven been in the league for 20 years and Cameron Maven came in town and went by the stadium and was like, I never realized how nice it was. Cameron Maven was talking about our stadium made him wish he went to college for a year. A <laughs> Maven fixed all sports. <laughs> Listen, you get Cameron Maven up here. He can listen. Trent Maven. Trent Maven will have asses in the seats. <laughs> and Cameron Maven will be here. Uh, what's going on at the Yum Center? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on.
Hold on one second. Hey, cuz, what do we have to do to get Trent up here to Louisville? Okay. I just text Cam Maven. What we got to do to get Trent here to Louisville? Now, if y'all see a number, <laughs> listen, what would y'all do for me to show y'all the number he puts <laughs> or the response from Cam Maven to, <laughs> to what? To what we got to do to get Trent Maven? Nope. 85 South. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot that was coming. I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. It, yeah. And the baby of Jordan. I agree. I agree. The Kieber Center. Kieber Center better be popping. Yeah, I forgot about the comedy show. Uh, I'm old and out of touch. I see this. Uh, the White Men Can't Jump is a remake. Do I need to watch that tonight? Because I'm either going to go to Vegas or watch a movie. Mmm, mmm. On another subject, when are we gonna get your FSU guy here to talk conference real life? I don't, you know what? I'ma set that up. I'ma set up, I'ma set up ooh, ooh. Y'all wanna see something real quick? I'ma set up uh I'ma I'ma I'm going to hit polka. <laughs> um young fella, young fella, young fella. Let's look at a little video real quick. Um, share, share. Let's see, let's see. Boom. Boy, that, that, that kid got a sweet looking shot. Sky Clark, I should have put you in the title, young fella. Scott Clark, you're probably watching this right now. Let me know when you need the link. Seminole TV. Mmm. <laughs> he got a he got a tight handle, y'all. Scott Clark has a tight handle. <laughs> Steve Rummage on wrestling early. What would he say? So, um, look, Paul, Paul S. I'm not talking about any more recruits from Kenny. Well, uh, until until they take a visit, I'm not talking about any recruits because we don't deserve that conversation. We trying to sabotage it. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Rumors of the bill. Okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Ooh. I feel you, Sky. That's a nice handle. Yeah, listen. Charles, if you saw the original, everybody who saw the original ain't going to like the remake because the original was so good. <laughs> Man, that's like, that's like, White Men Can't Jump is like a an all-time, all-time classic. Your expectations going to be crazy. Your budget got to be stupid to match that. Ah, Zach McKay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to talk to Zach off 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 air. <laughs> I'm having to get with Zach McKay. Go to Vegas for sure. Watch the movie on a rainy night. 
Uh, uh, not as good, but I still... Okay, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm gonna find some something new on the bootleg or something. Alicia, you didn't like the uh the original white man can't jump. Well, I'm a basketball guy, so I look maybe maybe my opinion is kind of jaded. Wait a minute, y'all don't like watching y'all don't like watching Sky Clark just work out. Trent Maven is the real deal. <laughs> it was okay. Oh man. Wesley Snipes, Rosie Perez, all of them. Hold on, hold on. We going to sit, right? We going to sit, <laughs> we going to sit. I can watch him in Trenton all day. He is smooth, y'all. Yeah, a little, little more, a little more natural of a ball handler, wouldn't you say? How realistic was blue chips to high school recruiting? Extremely realistic. <laughs> Extremely realistic. Hmm. Hmm. Sky Clark is very comfortable with the basketball in his hands, going right and left. I might watch, uh, I might watch, uh, what's his name? Uh, Owen Wilson. I might watch Owen Wilson doing Bob Ross. I, uh, I love how the new kids, the gym rats, they looking like it. They looking like it. Marcus in the building. What's good? DJ from Texas in the building. Corito. Uh, uh, is released. Let me see. Let me see. Release. I would, uh, uh, I'd, I'd like him to jump a little higher. He has a nice release. It's very, it's, it's smooth. I, I'd like him to jump a little higher, you know. If, if I if I were gonna if I were gonna just pick pick at him a little bit, yeah. If I were gonna just pick at him, I would make his release a little higher, but not not enough to really give him a hard time. He's smooth though. Um. I think I like it better than last year's point guard. <laughs> um, I only got seven seven more minutes, y'all. Let's go high intensity, seven minutes. Um, hold on. I'll just leave this up here for a couple seconds. I'm gonna run to the kitchen. I'm gonna be really, really quick. Hardcore, seven minutes left.
So can y'all work with that or what? Master P putting them in the gym. Wait a minute. Did did Hersey put out another another video? If did Hersey put out a video and y'all not send it to me? Tell the Midnight family something we don't know. Is that sarcastic? <laughs> Mr. Crump, is that sarcasm? Okay, fair enough then. Listen, I was I was watching little I was watching little Scott Clark earlier. Mm. Mm. I had a 35 minute conversation with Dewan Wheat earlier today. Um, Dewan asked me to participate or talk to me about my participation in, in an event. It was awesome. Um, I talked to Dewan about Let's just say I talked to Dewan about I can't tell y'all. <laughs> I can't tell y'all what I talked to Dewan about. That's the University of Louisville basketball related. Sorry. I can't talk to y'all about that. He's a big PG. I did see that. <laughs> That's the dude right there. This is a fact, Nathan. This is a fact. Um, is there? Uh, like I said, there there might be a new one. That's if y'all if y'all haven't seen sent me the new Hersey Miller video, I'm gonna be mad at y'all. Hmm. If y'all didn't listen, I told y'all everybody in here has my personal email. It's M A D E F O R T H E V I L L E, made for the bill at Gmail. When you send me an email, it pops up right to my phone and I read it. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Why why am I just getting this? Uh-oh. See, now I'm gonna be uh now I got a nitpick. Hold on. Thank you, Jocelyn. All these people that love Hersey Miller, they ain't even see this video. Hold on. I'll go straight to it. I'll go straight to it. I um I won't even um boom. Boom. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, let's go to it. Present, share, share. Let's see what young fella doing. What you doing in the workouts? Yeah, on them, we ready, we ready, spaghetti. Right like a set of Pirelli's. Uh, hold on. Yep, I need listen, I, I do need the floater. I do need the floaters out of Hersey. 
I need the handles though. I, I listen. I need more handle work, full court handle work. I don't need the fillets. I don't need the finger rolls. I need that one. I need the floater. I need the high layup. I need the full court dribbling with Hersey Miller. I need the full court cone at full speed. He is working hard though. I do like the high floaters. I, I don't need to look. I don't need to shake the shake and bake and the layup. And the, or, or I'm sorry, the shake and bake and the finger roll. I need him getting the ball up and down the court at full speed. Hersey, I need you full court. He looks like he got a tighter handle though. Hersey, I need you. I need you pressing a point guard and a point guard pressing you full court. I don't need. I need real defenders on you, not the cones. That's what I need out of Hersey for this summer. I need somebody pressing up on him. That's why I like the Sky Clark video when he's kind of pushing his shoulders. Mm-hmm. That's what I need. I need functional, I need the functional workouts. He will. Okay, appreciate that. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> you got to have a lob. You got to run the curl and throw the lob. Yeah, I mean, hard work, you just got to work on the right things. I do think so, too. Confidence is a big deal. Wait, Chris Johnson football? Jordan, I'm out too. I, I overstayed my welcome as well. Um, Y'all know I'm going to be hitting the road to ATL, so I might do an impromptu tomorrow night. It might be a little earlier than normal. It depends on if uh, what time I'm gonna get on the road on Monday. But um, y'all should make sure you hit the su subscribe button. I may give y'all some. Look, I might be bored on the road, so I might give y'all some uh <laughs> some good uh vacation nuggets. So y'all get some get some sleep, y'all. Get it in. <laughs> 